Thanks for that, Curtis. And it's an expensive aircraft used by many branches of the armed forces, and it wouldn't be possible without a Montana-based company. MTN's Jacob Fuhrer was there this morning as congressional leaders learned about the F-35 fighter jet and the crucial component made right here in Helena. It's one of the U.S. government's biggest and most expensive defense projects to date. It's also branded as the most lethal. We're not looking for a fair fight. We're looking for superiority, overwhelming force. Defense giant Lockheed Martin gave congressional leaders and reporters a virtual look at its fifth generation fighter jet, the F-35 Lightning II, capable of reaching supersonic speeds and equipped with the latest technology. One of the key advantages of this next generation aircraft is its stealth mode, the ability to enter enemy airspace without being detected by radar. The element of surprise that F-35 affords the United States, as well as its allies and partners, is uh, immeasurable. While these fighter jets come with a hefty price tag, congressional leaders said they're also creating jobs and bringing money into Montana. Helena-based Pioneer Aerostructures makes the bulkheads that support the F-35. We estimate there's 190 direct and indirect jobs produced because of what's going on right now with Pioneer Aerospace. That's a $16 million economic impact for the state of Montana. Pioneer is one of three Montana companies with contracts to provide parts for the aircraft. And it's now on the shoulders of Congress to ensure that we buy enough of these aircraft and deliver them fast enough. And that has long been the challenge. The F-35 has come under intense scrutiny after delays in production and cost overruns. The company says things have improved and the price of the aircraft will only come down as more are made. Senator Daines, who sits on both the Senate Finance and Appropriations Committees, told reporters Monday he'll hold defense leaders accountable. Well, we, we hold the Department of Defense accountable uh, in terms of ensuring they meet both uh, cost targets and, uh, and project timing targets. And while Montana may help manufacture the parts, there are no current plans to station an F-35 at Malmstrom Air Force Base. But Cascade County Commissioner Jim Larson has been lobbying hard to change that. It's still a long ways from, from completion, but uh, at least there is discussion. In Helena, Jacob Fuhrer, MTN News. Lockheed Martin plans to ship over 130 F-35s this year and ramp up production in the coming years.